Hey everybody, welcome. Join me as I take you on a tour around the best state owned government school structure I have seen in my entire life in Nigeria, Oshobo Grammar School, also known as Oshograms, Oshun State, Nigeria. Oshograms was founded in the year 1950 with Oba Samuel Adenle Won as the first proprietor of the school. The school has two campuses. This leads to the second campus used by the science students, while this other one is the entrance to the main campus used by the junior as students at the administrative blocks. From the gate is the car park, and you can see the hall towards your right far end that's the school hall so beautiful Right here in front, towards our right hand side, we can see their volleyball court and basketball court. This is so beautiful. I mean, for a normal government school in Nigeria, state government, not even federal government, this school is interestingly beautiful. I love the environment. Right over here, you can see the, what the fence that divides the main building from the other one. That's the second campus from the first campus. Please, this school deserves an accolade. It is beautiful. Take a good look at this top written on the floor. This simply shows that vehicles are not supposed to ply this access. This is the walkway and it's strictly for pedestrians. But I don't know why these vehicles in front actually disobey the rule. <laughs> Trust Nigeria now. <laughs> But on the second day, no vehicle was parked here. Everyone obeyed the rules. And you can see the walkway broad enough and you know so comfortable. Yeah, it's I actually like the environment. I mean the outside is amazing. It's so nice. It doesn't even look like it's Nigeria. <laughs> you can see the few three trees on the two sides of the walkway. I really wish we had more of them, they would have helped shield pedestrians from the scorching sun and protect the ground from erosion. This school also had good drainage structure which is very common to the west. You can also see the street lights, there's the poles for illumination at night. You can sight one right in front there and the second one to our right our left hand side all right i think we've had enough view of the outside surround of the surroundings or the outside environment i think it's time we all go in and know what's right in the building let's get inside This is the reception where teachers also log in when they come to school. I love these write-ups on the wall, so inspiring. It can go a long way to encourage a child for the day. Well, the staircase is not so beautiful. It's a little bit dilapidated and no handrails, so one has to be careful while climbing the stairs. This beautiful blue and red painting distinguishes the other blocks from the language class. 
and this is the view from out from upstairs actually so beautiful and breathtaking at the end of each block you can find the toilets this is the tour this is the second floor and here is the female toilet and the male toilet yes and um, this is nice I actually like the printing on the color of the chairs there it's so flashy and I like fine fine colors <laughs> alright heading into the class where I had my training session here we go this is a typical classroom you can see the floor the whiteboard you see the chairs and behind you see the lockers pew, pew. this is a little I could get of their physics lab and this is a typical of all their labs this is the entrance to the hall of the school and um, I think it's okay I don't really know the capacity of this hall. You might be able to estimate when you see the inside. Alright. So guys, I'll be wrapping up my brief tour around Oshubo Grammar School with this hall. Whenever you find yourself in Oshun State or Oshubo precisely, do well to visit Osho Gram. Don't forget to like, to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more interesting contents. Alright. See you later.